Hello everybody, uh, this is uh, part two of uh, the Proc Rock Show, uh, Harold's Proc Rock Show, and uh, today uh, I will do uh, number 41 up until number 80. Uh, the rule is uh, only one album uh, per band or artist. Okay, we start today with uh, Camel, Moon Madness, famous album, their best album uh, uh, in my opinion. Then we go to Caravan. In the land of grey and pink. Then uh, Green Slate, uh, Green Slate, uh, the first album, self-titled, 1973, with artwork from Roger Dean. Then we go to Asia, 1982, first album with uh, Steve Howe, uh, Jeff Downs, John Wetton, and uh, Carl Palmer. Very good and uh, sold million million times with the hit single heat of the moment and we go to the mandala band they only made two studio albums and this is the eye of vendor prophecies from belgium machiavel mechanical moonbeams neuschwanstein from germany with the album battlement then again from Germany, this is uh, Triumphirat with their album Spartacus. We go to uh, Italy, Darwin, uh, Banco del Mutuo Socorro. Uh, the people will say Banco to this band. Their second album, very good, Darwin. And we go to Poland. Riverside, first album, Out of Myself. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Mystery, One Among the Living. And we go to the Netherlands, Elkin, 1973. Their album is called The Mountain Queen. Very good. And we go to Focus, Hamburger Concerto. Uh, another famous one is uh, Moving Ways. Uh, but with uh, their hit single Hocus Pocus, but I like uh, Hamburger Concerto even more than Moving Waves. Trades, uh, also from the Netherlands, first album, 1974, very good. Steve Hackett, first album, Voyage of the Acolyte, with uh, Mike Rutherford and Phil Collins. Steve Hackett from Genesis, as you all know. Um, then Peter Gabriel with his live album, Plays Live, with lots of tracks from album number three and album number four. Very good. Mike Rutherford, first solo album, Small Creeps Day, from Genesis, Mike Rutherford. Phil Collins, No Jacket Required. And go to The Strops with their best album, Hero and Heroine. Rare Bird, As Your Mind Flies By, 1970. Uh, very good. Okay, let's move on. Vangelis, Spiral. Interesting album. And go to Pulsar from France with Halloween. Dead Can Dance in the Realm of a Dying Sun. Very good. Nightwish with the album Once. With, uh, later on, last two studio albums, we have a Dutch singer on this album and she's called Floor Janssen. On this album, uh, is Tarja singing and also on this album is the famous track very good ghost love score then we go to within temptation with mother earth from the netherlands with on vocals sharon den adel then we go to porcupine tree signify stephen wilson from porcupine tree has also a solo career and uh, this is his best album. It's called uh, The Raven You Refused to Sing. 
from America, Star Castle, first album. Uh, it's in fact uh, heaven, heavily influenced by Yes. So this is in fact American version of Yes. Now go to Trevor Rabin, Can't Look Away, solo album, very good. If you like 915, you have to listen to this one. Then we have Chris Choir with Fish Out of Water, his only solo album. Uh, John Anderson from Yes. Uh, Allies of Sin Hello, his first solo album. Rick Wakeman, uh, one of his many albums. This is called No Earthly Connection, 1976. He's also done Criminal Records, and on that album we have Judas Iscariot, which is very good. Gropesneed, first album from Germany. Peter Hamill from Van Graaf Generator. Uh, his best solo album is this one. This is called The Silent Corner and the Empty Stage. Then we go to Keith Emerson from Emerson Lake and Palmer. Uh, this one is from 2008 with um, Mark Bonilla on this album. It's very good, very progressive, very melodic. Lots of keyboards, of course. Haken from England with The Mountain. Don Airy now playing with Deep Purple with his first solo album. It's called K2. Anecdoten. Last album, um, it's called Until All the Ghosts Are Gone. So we have a gatefold sleeve here, like the old days with the LPs. Okay, we go on with another band from Sweden, and that's Anglegar with the first album, Hebris. Very good. Then also from Sweden, Opeth with the last album in Coda Venenum. It's very good and very melodic and very powerful. Um, when you start with Opeth, start with this album, you will be surprised. Okay, that was the second show. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.